Hello, this is Yeshua Said My Name. Thank you for uh, stopping by the channel. Thank you to new subscribers. Today's video, I will be dealing with the Luciferian agenda of Freemasonry. There are many Masons out there that are purposely planted, in my opinion, on uh, Facebook, all of social media, Twitter, YouTube, to try and counteract or try and um, uh, battle the uh, the proven accusations against them that the Luciferian doctrine is practiced in Freemasonry. They are they're outright deniers, purposely put on the internet to try and countermand anything that is said about them, uh, which can be proven true even from former Freemasons, high-ranking Freemasons. As I've stated earlier in this channel, I've presented uh, books from a Masonic Lodge. If you backtrack a few videos, actually a couple of months ago on this channel, I presented you authentic books from a Masonic Lodge. I gave testimony from those books. I've had Freemasons, ex-Freemasons, email me with their personal information about what they experienced, what they knew. Uh, I will divulge no names. But I wanted to quote some high-ranking Freemasons for you, in case any of you are still in doubt as to whether or not Freemasons acknowledge Lucifer as God, or whether their teachings are a Luciferian doctrine. Uh, it is my belief from everything the Lord has taught me and shown me, the sources he's given me, that this is in fact true. If you are contemplating joining Freemasonry, or even if you're a woman contemplating joining um, uh, the member of the Eastern or becoming a member of the Eastern Star, the Order of the Eastern Star, the OES. I'm here to discourage this. The low ranking OES members, Eastern Star members, and Freemasons are not aware that what they are signing up for is, you know, like once you get to the higher ranks, is a Luciferian doctrine and pagan occult practices. Um, I will be reading to you some quotes here from some well-known Freemasons. I will put a link in the description section for you so you can click on it and study the source for yourself prayerfully. Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, it is he who bears the light and with its splendors intolerable blinds, feeble, sensual, or selfish souls. Doubt it not. So he's saying here, this is from Albert Pike from Morals and Dogma, page 321, the 19th degree of Grand Pontiff. So there's a source quoted here. Albert Pike states that Lucifer, uh, he blinds feeble and selfish souls, that he is the spirit of darkness. So he's saying here, strange and mysterious name to give the spirit of darkness. So out of his own mouth, he has stated that Lucifer is the spirit of darkness and blinds minds. Now scriptures tell us, uh, in God's word, that Satan has blinded the minds of those who do not believe the gospel. So this is an actual confirmation from someone who actually practices the craft. Uh, and this was from Albert Pike in Morals and Dogma. Domenico Margiota, 33rd degree Mason, has written, Paladism is necessarily a Luciferian rite. Its religion uh, is neo-Gnosticism, teaching that the divinity is dual and that Lucifer is equal of Adonai. With Lucifer, the god of light and the goodness, struggling for humanity against Adonai, the god of darkness and evil. Albert Pike had only specified and unveiled the dogmas of the high grades of all other masonries, for no matter what right, the great architect of the universe is not the god worshipped by Christians. And this is quoted from Extract from Masonry Beyond the Light former 32nd degree Freemason. All of these Masons that I'm quoting from here, they are actually uh, the higher degrees, some of the highest that you can get. And as I stated before, some men that were in my church years ago were being recruited by Freemasons. And they had no idea in the beginning what they were getting involved in. As a matter of fact, I led a few Sunday school classes where uh, at the time when I attended this church or adult classes, where I would try my best to expose Freemasonry and Luciferian agenda behind it and how scripture unveiled exactly what it is. And I actually had a Freemason uh, stopping by the classroom all the time, giving me looks. His wife joined the class to listen to what I had to say. Um, so this is a real thing, guys. And when you sign on to Freemasonry, you think you're getting involved in this fraternal brotherhood of goodness and good works. What you don't understand is that, and I have these from literal sources from a Masonic Lodge. I have books 
on my person. I know Freemasons and ex-Freemasons. They will confirm this to you. Um, so, so far we have two different sources here, Domenico Margiota and Albert Pike, both stating that they believe that Adonai, Yahweh, Jehovah is the enemy of man and that Satan is the freer of man or the light bearer come to man, that he is to free you from Adonai. And this was the same tactic Satan used in the Garden of Eden when he approached Adam and Eve. Like God's holding out on you. You can be as gods. And he wanted their worship and their admiration to be their light bearer. When Jesus said, I am the light of the world, he who follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. You have to make that decision. Is Lucifer your light of life? Is Lucifer the light of the world? Or is Jesus who he claims to be when he said, I am the light of the world and he who follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. It can't be both. Quote, when the Mason learns that the key to the warrior on the block is the proper application of the dynamo of living power, he has learned the mystery of his craft. The seething energies of Lucifer are in his hands. And before he may step onward and upward, he must prove his ability to properly apply this energy. This is from the Lost Keys of Freemasonry, page 48, Manly P. Hall, 33rd degree. So we have Manly Hall. Uh, we have uh, Domenico Margiata, and we have Albert Pike. So these are 32nd and 33rd degree Freemasons openly acknowledging that Lucifer is their God, and they believe he has come to set mankind free from Jehovah, who is the one true God. Albert Pike goes on to say, quote, that which we must say to the crowd is we worship a God, but it is the God one adores without superstition. To you, Sovereign Grand Inspector General, we say this, and you may repeat it to the brethren of the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion, now this is Albert Pike calling it a religion. Okay, a lot of Freemasons defending their position will tell you it's not a religion. Yes, it is. It's a Luciferian religion. So he's saying here that you can repeat it to the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion should be by all of us, initiates of the high degrees, maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. If Lucifer were not God, would Adonai, the God of the Christians, whose deeds prove cruelty, perfidity, and hatred of man, barbarism, and repulsion for science, would Adonai and his priests uh, calumate him? Yes, Lucifer is God, and unfortunately, Adonai is also God. For the eternal law is that there is no light without shade, no beauty without ugliness, no absolute can only exist as absolute can only exist as two gods. Thus, the doctrine of Satanism is uh, the true and pure philosophical religion is the belief in Lucifer, the equal of Adonai. Mm. But Lucifer, the god of light and the god of good, is struggling for humanity against Adonai the God of darkness and evil. Scripture tells us, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. This is what is taking place. It's twisting everything upside down. You know, that's why even when you see symbols of Baphomet or you see symbols of, you know, the occult or paganism, everything is dark and light. You know, you go into a Masonic lodge and you have a checkered floor of black and white squares. Everything to them is literally is uh, as above, so below. They, they, but they twist it and turn it upside down and turn it backwards. That Lucifer is their light bearer, their God that's come to set them free from, and that Jehovah is the evil God of darkness looking to hold mankind back from his true uh, self. And this is where this doctrine of apotheosis comes from, uh, the, which means the divinity of man, uh, the ascension of man into godhood. Uh, this is exactly what these secret society occult practice. And it was spoken of in Daniel and Revelation and even in the gospel about those who practice the craft. Jesus called them the builders and a nickname for Freemasonry is the builders. So Jesus himself addressed the builders in the gospels. So look this up. But I will put a link down to these quotes for you so you can look at these high ranking Freemasons, these well-known Freemasons admitting that they adhere to the Luciferian doctrine, that Lucifer is their God, and that he is opposed to Adonai, of course, but that they're claiming that Adonai is an evil uh, de uh, deity, and that Lucifer has come to set mankind free from Jesus, who is the creator of the universe. 
Uh, Jesus is Yahweh made flesh, the word made flesh walk among us. And Jesus said emphatically, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father except through me. That I am the light of the world, and whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So it's either Lucifer, Lucifer is your light, or it's Jesus is your light, as he claimed to be. Who's telling you the truth and who's lying to you? Call out to Christ today. Ask him to reveal himself to your heart. He will not disappoint you. But I'm here to warn you that I have testimony, personal testimony from Freemasons, ex-Freemasons, books from a lodge. I had a Freemason and his wife uh, join, join a class that I taught trying to expose these things just to hear what I was saying. But stop by the classroom, follow me around. I'm telling you, this is a real thing. And if you confront most pastors standing in pulpits about Freemasons infiltrating, they'll dismiss you or ignore you, either because they don't want to deal with it and lose their position, or they're simply ignorant of it. Or they are practicing Freemasons standing in pulpits. And that's why they're going to dismiss you and ignore you. So I thank God for the opportunity to have YouTube to be able to have a platform to expose these things and share my personal experiences and even what I feel the Lord has taught me. But most of the people standing in pulpits today, it's sad to say, they are lukewarm, grievous wolves who have crept into the church fold and they are uncontested by church leadership today. My prayer is that more people would have their eyes open by the Holy Spirit to notice these wolves creeping in and to take a stand against them and be a watchman on the wall. God bless you. I'll put the link down below. Thank you for listening and more to come soon.